Hello viewers. Today we have a very nice story. This story has been written by K. A. Abbas. The full name of K. A. Abbas is Khwaja Ahmad Abbas, who was born in Panipat. He was a literary personality. He was an Indian film director, a screenwriter, novelist, and a journalist in the Urdu, Hindi, and English language. Need not to say, he is the renowned personality of our country, India. He began his career as a journalist in Hindi movie platform. He was considered as the maker of Hindi films such as Saath Hindustani, Another film, Do Bund Pani. These two films, both of the films, own the National Film Award. And this personality has written a wonderful story sketching out the Indian society titled Holi. The major theme of the story Bholi is the impact of family on children. Bholi is a little girl who fails to develop self-confidence because of her parents and their attitudes. This story hints at why family support and emotional security are essential for progress of the child development. Disabled children must be given encouragement, must be given love, affection, and education like their normal children. This story is no doubt sympathetic. We feel sympathy for Vuli. The writer is dealing in this story about the transformation of a young timid girl into a bold young woman capable of taking her own decisions. One family that was headed by Ramlal, Nambardar Ramlal has a big family. He has four daughters and three sons. From the childhood, Sulekha, who was also known as Bholi, the youngest child of Ramlal. Sulekha was a little solo girl. She was the fourth daughter 
and the youngest child of Ramla when she was 10 months old an incident occurred in her life she had fallen down from her coat on her head there was an injury in her head and the result is that some part of her brain got damaged therefore she became a backward child a slow child at that very time the parents didn't take proper care for the cure for the curement of the injury she had another incident another sorrowful incident also takes place in her life when she was only 2 years old at that very time she had an attack of a small pox a small pox no doubt it is life taking disease considered at that very time her entire body her whole body was permanently disfigured by deep black poke marks only eyes were saved at that very time she looks ugly because of a smallpox parents were also not paying proper attention on her as they are paying attention towards the rest of the children sons of ram ramlal went outside in town for their study ramlal and his wife was very much interested to marry their daughters and in this regard ramlal had already married all these three elder daughters i mean three elder sisters of surekha who was known as bholi the condition of bholi was very pathetic the children inside the home made fun of her the children outside the home also laugh at her a child needs encouragement a child needs proper care when he or she is growing but the writer has simply indicated that there was a kind of discrimination between son and daughter sulekha was unable because of the injury in the head she started speaking late till the age of 5 she was the sufferer no doubt first she got injury in her head second she was started suffering from a small pox which covered entire body of the poke marks and teasing and making fun of her is another kind of problem her growth was not normal her growth was abnormal when holy was 
only seven years old all her elder sisters were married or their marriage had been fixed ramlal was worried about bhori and her marriage also previously in the village area there were not school no schools it was a good news for the villagers at the same year a primary school for girls was opened in their village the village tehsildar came there for the opening ceremony and told ramla to send his daughter to the school ramlal was in dilemma he consulted his wife talked to her but the opinion and decision of her wife was quite contrary she said what's the need to send the child into the school she was the lady who believes in the marriage of their daughter only she believes girls like a burden after all ramlal never disobey the tehsildar he had no courage finally both of this both of them decided to send bholi into the school for the first time bholi was dressed up decently she was given new dress before that whatever she wears that was the left dresses of their of her elder sisters she was given bath her hair was combed little bholi could not understand what is going on inside the home she was very helpless there was a cow in the house of ramlal whose name was lakshmi when lakshmi was sent out outside she considered to know that lakshmi was sold that girl was afraid she was also going outside the home she was fearful at that very time she was bathed oiled and given a new dress holy was terribly frightened and resisted also not going to the new place when she reached the school she saw the girls like her she became a little bit happy her teacher took a special interest in bholi she spoke to her softly and patted her with love and affection that girl has a stammering tendency also her voice was not clear she stammers she hesitate she had no capacity to utter a word clearly 
because she was a stammering therefore the rest of the children inside the classroom started laughing at her but the place was very attractive and beautiful for her the place where where she put her mat and sat when she started looking out the walls of the class she became happy to see the colorful pictures the pictures of god cow and other animals made her happy she started taking interest in them the teacher was also very supportive when teacher asked her name she feels a lot of difficulty to utter his name because she was stammering but the love and affection the teachers inside the classroom showing feels the little hurt with encouragement she feels a lot of satisfaction there also because she was getting love a true love and encouragement by the teacher the teacher encouraged her saying that one day you will be a good speaker one day you will be successful one day you will be like other children and this fills the heart of holy with happiness her eyes were wet not because of difficulty but because of happiness only teachers demand only one thing and that is you come to school regularly daily every day and she nodded her head yes i will join the school when teacher told say in sound way she said yes i will come to school every day holy became the regular visitor of the school and on that day when he uh, see first time reached the school holy could not understand what the lady teachers had asked she sat silently and submissively looking at the pictures on the wall Holy told that I will learn not by the words but by nodding her head. The teacher told her when she would become learned, then no one will ever be able to laugh at her. It appeases the little heart of Holy. people would listen to her and respect her these soft words fills the heart of holy holy started crying once upon a time holy started crying when she was not able to give the answer of the teacher the year passed year after year passed the situation is completely changed the village became a small town the little primary school was turned into high school a cinema had also opened under the teen set in that village a cotton greening mill 
had also opened the village was connected with the train route there became a station all these things was developed now that was not the village but it became a small town a station was there everywhere there was development bhuli now not a small girl she had grown up one night after dinner both ramlal and his wife were talking ramlal said he should accept bisambhar's proposal of marriage bisambhar was a grocer he lives in the next village not far from the village where ramlal's family live he was grocer and from well to do family his first wife was died he had many children and they have grown up therefore bisambhar has given the proposal to marry his daughter bholi and ramlal was simply discussing with his wife bisambhar has given the proposal for the marriage listening this one without wasting a single minute the wife of ramlal agreed she wants the marriage of bholi and nothing else she has nothing to do with the feelings of bholi she was a mother she accepted the proposal ramlal also told to his wife no doubt bisambhar was a rich grocer but he was as old as me as myself as ramlal he also walked with a limp and the children from his first wife were quite grown up listening all these things holy's mother was not deterred by these facts she only wanted to see bholi married and therefore she asked ramlal to accept the proposal bholi was not asked at the time because parents have accepted the proposal so the marriage day has come and on that very day bisambhar nath came with a big marriage party with great pomp and so ramlal was overjoyed to see such pomp and a splendor bholi elder sister were jealous of her elder sisters and their husbands also present there but all of them were jealous of the destiny of bholi sulekha when the auspicious moment came bholi was led to the bride's place near the sacred fire when the bridegroom was about to garland the bride a woman slipped back the silken veil from the bride's face bisambhar took a glance 
he saw the poke marks on her face. Vishambarnath saw the poke, poke marks on her face that was in, in hell. Immediately he said, if he was to marry her, her father must give him 5,000 rupees. Previously there was no demand. But when Vishambarnath saw the face of Bhuli that was full of a smallpox marks, he started demanding 5,000 rupees from Ramlal. Ramlal pleaded. Ramlal requested. Ramlal prayed. And asked him to accept a, a smaller amount. Because Ramlal was not in a position to provide the demanded amount. He was requesting. But Bishambhar was unmoved. There was no impression of the request made by Ramlal. Bishambhar Nath was firm, unmoved, unchanged. He demanded the amount anyhow to save his own prestige, Ramlal managed and gave him the money for his own honor. When Bishambhar was about to garland the bride, at the same time, the bride unveiled her face and her hand stuck out like a streak of lightning and the garland was flung into the sacred fire. This was the boldness of that educated girl. Education fills the hurt of Bholi with a firm decision. Education makes her bold to take the decision in the right time. She asked her father politely in a clear, clear and loud voice to take back the money. She refused to marry her. She refused to marry Bishambhar who was a mean, greedy, and contemptuous fellow. He was not suitable at all for Bholi. Other women who, who were present there surprised, wondered how Bholi a harmless dumb cow had become a violent one. It is no doubt appreciable. The step taken by Bholi was no doubt appreciable. At this critical situation, Bishambarnath and his party went back without completing the marriage ceremony. Ramlal stood there, rooted to the ground. His head bowed, low with grief and same also. He asked Bholi what they would do with her. Bholi told her father in a very affectionate manner that she would serve him, that she would look after father and mother both because they become old man. As a child, 
she accepted that i would help you i would serve you i would not leave you i would live in this house and serve you both in your old age she also further stated she would teach in the same school where she had learned so much about life no doubt we can appreciate the boldness of this little girl to whom people considered and degraded her since her childhood now she is saying to her parents i will stay in the inside the house and i will serve you both i will start walking in the school in the same school where i have learned many things about life her teacher who was also standing there the same teacher who had is educated bholi when she was a small girl her teacher was present there she became very happy about the step taken by bholi her teacher supported her and expressed her satisfaction in her decision she felt a deep satisfaction as an artist completing the masterpiece the teacher was very happy because she had created a masterpiece in this world from where rest of the people take inspiration and in this way holi started working in that school and the teacher who had prepared her to take a firm decision feels that this one is my masterpiece the story is very interesting no doubt k a abbas is the master of situation creating he had created such a situation in this short story that looks that this is not the simple story of a village but such sort of a stories are available in most of the villages and girls should be bold girls should girls should given education there is also a message for the parents parents should not discriminate between boy and the girl child the story conveys the message that little love and affection can play huge role in transforming one's life it also highlights the importance of education education makes a man a, into a real man education change a man into a real man if we educate a girl child simply we educate a family and if the family is educated no doubt our society is educated the all the things are interconnected parents should not ignore those child who are disabled parents should show equal love and affection upon every child so that they may flourish themselves and stand on their own foot no doubt this is a wonderful story and i hope the story is quite clear to you all and now you will be able to write the answer prescribed in your chapters with these words i conclude myself thank you thank you very much